And the first play from scrimmage is a play action pass. Starkle throws it down the middle of the field, and it's complete to Osmond. Throw 15 yards on first down as we look at Nick Starkle. 6'3", 215 pounds out of Argyle, Texas. You're talking about an attitude already. You see the first play of the game, they go to the air. That's what Starkle presents. And try again. Stayed clean in the pocket. Gets it deep downfield to Christian Kirk. He slips away. How about that? Touchdown. Two plays, 75 yards to pay dirt. And Nick Starkle has brought life. Back to the passing game here in College Station. He's a junior, but this very well could be his final home game here at Kyle Field. There's Kirk again. After the 33-yard line, first down for the Aggies. Huge connection right here. First, it's just finding an open window. Got some people, some folks back over in New Mexico be watching this game. In play action and another strike. Damian Ratley. There's his first catch. He gets to the 48 of New Mexico. So now back him to the 42 yard line. Second down and 20. Starkle feeling some pressure. Steps up. Flips it downfield. This is going to be a first down for Cameron Buckley. Buckley, the especially with no backs in the backfield. Starko looking to the right, throws that direction. He has a receiver. It's Buckley again. Can't stay on his feet, but gets inside the 15-yard line for its first down. And now, same thing, being able to scan the defense and find the right play. Jamon Osmond. Wow, taking a tackler right into the end zone. Great effort at the point of the catch. And carried a tackler right into the end zone for a touchdown. Third and 13. Jordan. He is going to be chased and caught. Justin Dunning. Great wheels to catch up to Lamar Jordan and drop him for a four-yard loss on the sack. And it's fourth down. Look inside the Texas A&M Radio Network broadcast booth. Where Dave South, a longtime voice, is calling his last home game. And Kyle Field, he's retiring after the season. South is the honorary captain for tonight's game. He was on the field prior to the game. Great voice. And happy to say I've been able to get to know him over the years. I wish uh, Dave South the best. He's one of the best in the business. And Texas A&M is able to convert on third down as Osmond, who has a touchdown reception already tonight, makes the catch. And there's Dave before the game. Getting a 12th man jersey. <laughs> Taking care of the quarterback there. Garrett Hughes, the defensive tackle with that hit. Starkle to the air again. He's going to go deep, and it's caught. Down at the 11-yard line is Rashad Paul, another true freshman. For Texas A&M, first down, goal to go, Aggies. Uh, when they make a big play, they hurry back on the ball. They like to keep the defense on their heels. They've already got another play called. They're ready to attack as they already enter the red zone. 46-yard reception. Keith Ford, touchdown, Texas A&M. Receiver, that's that's what protection does for you allows you to find the open guy receiver screen Rashad Paul making a man miss well he stopped on a dime changed direction and picked up the first down it comes with the quarterback and that's what we're seeing so far from Starkle throwing this ball around second down and it's gonna be a first down goal to go for Rashad Paul totally different getting that ball out of the hands of Starkle. Penalty markers down. Ball is caught. A juggling catch by Damian Ratley. I think we get pass interference here offense. Offside. Offside. 
number 95, defense. The penalty is declined. The result of the play is a touchdown. It's going to hold up. And Ratley has his third touchdown catch of the year and third in two weeks. Yeah, you get a little offsides there at the end and nice little route combination at the top. It was just a quick little rub. Quick little rub as Christian Kirk goes to the corner. Well, is already. The last one was an 18-yard kick that he shanked. A little more heft into this one. Backing off is Christian Kirk inside the 10, but look out. Here he comes. Penalty flag. Kirk could go. And he will. But there's a marker down at the 8-yard line. And you let it out. But, man, that's an unbelievable play. There is no foul for a block in the back during the return. <laughs> the result of the play is a touchdown. 90 yards officially. That's another reason he's such a high NFL prospect. It just hasn't been going well. They've got 35 yards of total offense. Meanwhile, Nick Starkle making his first start since week one, having a night, and he's complete to the 32 to Osborne. Man, this offense is having fun, Kirk. Oh, man, he's going through progressions, too. This is... Taking another shot. Starkle caught. Touchdown. Making it look too easy. Ratley with the catch. That's his second touchdown. And Starkle with his fourth touchdown strike. On second and eight, deep pass for Jordan, and it's overthrown and it's intercepted. Miles Jones with the pick. The true freshman corner who stands six foot four. The first half, when they give it away for the 26th time this year. Trevion Williams. To the 37-yard line. To play that guy at safety. That, that's what most defensive coordinators would do. John Chavis, no, he, he got a six foot four athlete who's good at cornerback. They're, they're not messing with him. But able to turn those hips and make plays and talk about an eye for talent. That's John Chavis. And there's Christian Kirk again, making people miss. Inside the 15-yard line. Boy, cue the carnival music. And they're right back on the ball. They're not letting up. Uh, we talked about it earlier. It's Christian Kirk seeing the play before it even happens, making guys miss that I'm not even seeing. There's Kirk again near the five-yard line. Explosive. Just makes plays. Trevion Williams slips free for the touchdown. And both of the star running backs have been in the end zone for Texas A&M. Tough Iowa team. Found a way. Elijah Lilly from the goal line. He might go. I don't see any penalty flags down. This may stick. 100 yards to the house for Elijah Lilly. No bringing this one back. Kevin Sumlin and the Aggies with a big lead at the half. After the break, the halftime report, Chris Chip. Five. Chestnut, touchdown, Lobos. New Mexico finally gets a road touchdown. They had gone 46 in the game for Texas A&M, but there is no doubt the offense with Starkle at quarterback is more dynamic. Staying on his feet after the catch is Paul. Rashad Paul inside the 35-yard line. Big play for the rookie, give him 41 yards. Yeah, this, it takes some time to recover, and I'm not sure this team really truly ever did. To the end zone, Mond. Touchdown. 
Cameron Buckley. And the quarterback Gerhardt holds on. That'll probably do it. 28th straight home win over a non-conference opponent for Texas A&M. 50th win at A&M for Kevin Sumlin, who's been under a lot of pressure lately. Bob Davey, his homecoming back to College Station, not successful. 55-14, the final Texas A&M is bowl eligible. New Mexico will not be going to the postseason. For Court Morrison and our crew, I'm Clay Matvick. We now send you to goal line, followed by Wyoming at Air Force.